Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. Today we're going to be looking at all of the rewards you get for completing the Modern Warfare 3 Zombies story, which includes the boring stuff like weapon XP, double XP, all that, all the way through to actual exclusive zombies themed operator skins and exclusive weapon blueprints as well. I'll be showing all of them in game as well, so you can get an idea of whether or not they're worth grinding for. So let's get started. The acquisitions in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies are one time usable items or upgrades that you can bring in with you in a given match. And you get a lot of these as individual rewards while you go through the story. So in Act 1, you'll get the following things as one time usable items. Juggernog, Stamina Up, an uncommon ether tool, Cryo Freeze, a rare ether tool, a double XP token and a double weapon XP token, Death Perception, a raw Ethereum crystal, Napalm Burst and Shatter Blast. Alongside those, you can get some cosmetics as well. So there's the instant insanity sticker, which looks like this. There is also a get smoked emblem, which looks like this. There are three calling cards available. The first of them is the baseball fan calling card. The second is mayhem on wheels. And the third is ride and die. There is a loading screen also available, which has a similar kind of cosmetic theme to those calling cards. That's the rage and fire loading screen. And there are two charms. The first is the Hamlet charm, which looks looks like this. And the second is the masked and angry charm, which looks like this. Finally, and probably most importantly, you also get the bone rattle blueprint for the DG58 LSW light machine gun. Here's how it looks in the firing range. And I'll show you a little bit of gameplay of it in game in a few minutes. But first, we've got to get on to the act two rewards. So first up here again, we've got some acquisitions that the game gives you. Those are a refined Ethereum crystal, quick revive, dead shot, PhD, an epic ether tool, dead wire, speed cola, elemental pop, and a double XP token. The cosmetics available are the madness sticker, the pistol partner emblem, the survivor's calling card, the bad biker calling card, another charm, this time called cranial adjustment, and the warmageddon vehicle skin, which I think looks sick. It's obviously in the same kind of cosmetic theme as the calling cards that we've been seeing, some of the stickers there as well, and I just think this thing looks absolutely badass. So thumbs up from me on the Warmageddon skin front. But enough of that. Moving on to Act 3. The acquisitions you get are as follows. A flawless Ethereum Crystal, an Epic Ether Tool, Brain Rot, Tombstone, Double Weapon XP, a Legendary Ether Tool, and a Ray Gun Acquisition. So you get a free Ray Gun just for going through the story. And you can use that Ray Gun in whichever game you choose. But remember, it's an acquisition. So it's a one-time usage. And bear in mind as well, playing through Act 1 and Act 2 and Act 3 will mean that you get other acquisitions as well. Don't get me wrong. These are just the specific reward acquisitions that go in the reward tab in the menu instead of your usual acquisition stash. The cosmetics you get in Act 3 are the Death Rig sticker, the Saw Blade emblem, the Carnage charm, which looks like this, and two very important ones, the Malicious Marrow weapon blueprint, which goes on the Lockwood 680 shotgun. And here's how this one looks in the firing range. Exact same kind of cosmetic theme as the the bone rattle and probably the most sought after cosmetic from absolutely all of this is the operator skin. So the skin's name is Bone Collector and it's the skin for the operator Ripper and this is what it looks like. I think this thing looks so freaking cool. I think my team were the first ever to complete the boss fight in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. We had Treyarch in the chat. It was crazy and my chat was going nuts for this operator skin. People were absolutely loving the look of it and I think a lot of that charm is to do with the fact that it's an exclusive reward for doing a zombies activity that's really zombies themed. And those have been very few and far between in the history of the zombies mode. I mean, you go back to a game like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, the idea of getting rewards for doing that sort of stuff beyond maybe a free death machine in an Easter egg was ridiculous. Like none of us were sort of thinking in that direction, but here we are several years later. I mean, over a decade later for some of those old games and we're getting zombie specific rewards at last. It's been a request for forever. I mean, I remember it being a really big point of conversation in in Black Ops 4, because in Black Ops 4, you would do all this cool zombies stuff. And what would be the result of that? Well, you'd get like a face paint and it just felt a little bit unsatisfying. I, I, it didn't really feel linked to the activity or the objective or the Easter egg or the theme of the map or anything at all. It was very, very disconnected. And so this is a step in a really good direction, I think, having the Bone Collector be a zombies theme and obviously come from the zombies mode. But I would potentially say to Treyarch as a little piece of feedback here, 
right? And maybe you guys agree with this also. So let me know in the comments if you do. But I think it would be insanely cool if, for example, when you take down the Ether Worm in that tier three mission and you basically finish up that boss fight, I think that the skin that you get should be themed around the boss fight itself. So imagine if on Gorod Krovi, you finish off that massive dragon boss fight and you get a reward for a dragon themed operator skin and a dragon themed weapon blueprint or whatever. And then you go to a map like uh, Zetsubo no Shima and you wouldn't even necessarily have to theme it around the final main boss fight. It could just be map themed. So on Zetsubo, I think it would make a lot of sense to have a gun that was really inspired by spiders probably, especially seeing as there is the spider mini boss in the game. And so you could totally use that to drive people into those experiences because if I was a zombies fan that didn't play the mode a huge amount, just like a really low key casual fan, and I saw that I could get a version of soap, for example, or like some operator that I like, but that was designed in such a way that A, just looks sick and like infused with element 115 or Ethereum and all this sort of undead necromancy and everything, but that also then tied into the story kind of so that all the zombies fans that were wanting stuff that really showed off what they knew how to do. Like I know how to take down the mega abomination in the new Modern Warfare 3 zombies, whereas a total casual player might not know how to do that, might not have that kind of bragging rights to show. But if they made these operator skins and these weapon blueprints into bragging rights in that way, and I got a mega abomination gun with like three heads kind of sticking out of the side of it, and it felt like it was really a showpiece item that, that represented how much I cared about the zombies mode or how much I love the zombies mode or whatever, that would be so freaking cool. But sadly, we live in a world where I think a lot of those design decisions are not made based purely on what would be best for the zombies player and more so based on what's going to sell the best. And it makes sense. It's a business, right? But what's going to sell the best and what's going to earn Activision the most money. And that business unit is not super interested in rewarding the top 1% of zombies players. It wants to make skins that will be accessible to everyone. And I get that. It just sucks, to be honest. Like as a more hardcore fan, I want some cool exclusive stuff, dude. And I think that it's a really powerful conversation starter and a uh, sort of mover to get people more invested in the mode if you kind of put those carrots on the end of those sorts of sticks. So Treyarch, I hope you're listening. And if you guys agree with me, let me know in the comments. Now, finally, after all this stuff, there are still more rewards to come. Specifically, three things. The first two are that during the completion of those campaign missions, you are going to repeatedly be asked to pick up certain tablets or dossiers or documents. And sometimes the rewards for those are also going to be some kind of schematic you can extract with. That means that when you've extracted with it successfully, from that point on, you can craft whatever the thing is. So let's say it's a Shatter Blast ammo mod, for example. You can craft that ammo mod again and again in the menus and spawn in with it so you start your games with it. Now, the caveat is that once you craft it, it goes on a cooldown timer, so you won't be able to craft it again for another couple of hours. But still, not too bad. You can spawn in with a level two packed weapon and epic weapon rarity and all that sort of stuff and then wait a couple of hours and just do it all again without having to exfil anything. So during the missions, you'll get at least one ammo mod schematic. You'll get at least one ether tool schematic, but you also, and this is maybe the most prized sort of uh, outcome of all these rewards, you also get a Wunderwaffe DG2 schematic. That's a schematic for the wonder weapon, the Wunderwaffe, and it will allow you to craft it every 48 hours. You can't exfil with a Wunderwaffe, so once you use it in that game, it's gone. But still, what a crazy useful reward to have, meaning that every couple of days, you just get a free wonder weapon at the start of your match. So that's all the rewards from completing the story in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Let me know which is your favorite and subscribe for guides on how to get some other cool schematics, like for example, the ray gun schematic, so you can spawn in with a ray gun every single time. I'll see you there. It's linked on screen right now.